All right, so here's the story I was curious about, and I asked Meg Ferris to look into it. For me and a lot of other parents, right? right. Um, is it safe to give melatonin hormone supplements to children to help them sleep? I never even asked her. I was just giving them to my daughter. <laughs> now I'm not so sure. Meg Ferris <laughs> found out that you can. It's more of a Band-Aid than a long-term fix for sleep problems. Here she is with more. Angelina Vicknayer is the mom of two boys, Jude 8, Elijah 5. And as all parents know, bedtime is not always met with enthusiasm. There's a lot of, I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, I can't sleep. So on occasion, not routinely, like after vacation or busy weekend or daylight saving time, she gives them a melatonin supplement. They settle down a lot faster, and I'm not hearing a lot of calling from the room. Angelina's not alone. She's part of New Orleans Mom, the area's largest parenting resource website. Last year, nearly a million parents visited for advice, and they're asking about the safety of this hormone supplement. But I'm hearing more and more moms that are turning to melatonin occasionally for their children. Can we try the melatonin? We've heard about it. We know it's natural. What do you think? Tulane pediatrician Dr. Nicole Sheldon gets the question a lot, too. Melatonin is naturally made in the brain when it gets dark. It signals bedtime. But she warns natural doesn't mean there are no side effects. What we don't have is a lot of studies on the long-term effects of melatonin and whether um, it can interfere with growth, development, um, long-term side effects. For best sleep, she recommends children get activity during the day. Lay off caffeinated sugary soft drinks. Keep the same bedtime and routine every night, like bath, book, bed. Get off of all screens at least an hour before bedtime. The blue light they emit signal daytime. Or set them to change the light color by the clock. Or wear blue blocker glasses. Other light experts also say wear a sleep mask at night and only use a red night light. If you're going to give your child melatonin, you need to do it and make that decision with a, your pediatrician. The American Academy of Pediatrics says only use melatonin short term and at the lowest dose possible so children can learn to self-soothe in bed when it's time for the Sandman and they're not ready. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch.